Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a, another tech review video. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the Garmin Enduro, uh, which is a pretty cool smartwatch from Garmin. Um, I reckon it sits up there with your Garmin Fennec series and the likes, just a lot lighter and a lot more cool functionality than my personal 6X Sapphire. Um, so yeah, there's not too much to say. I've been uh, looking at smartwatches for many years, trying the different models out. And it wasn't until I tried out the Garmin Fenix 3 HR that I started enjoying uh, smartwatches per se. I did That one got lost and I did try some others, but I never really got anything until I picked up the, well, my wife picked up the Fenix 6X Sapphire for me. Um, which is my everyday go-to work watch at the moment. And um, yeah, then this one here was sent in and I've been reviewing and taking a look at this one and I've really been enjoying it. So the Enduro has become my weekend slash uh, bugger around slash whatever uh, watch which I use on weekends and anytime where I'm just doing everyday sort of stuff and I'm not too concerned about this one. Um, however, in so saying, the function set of this to me is actually pretty similar, if not the same as the Phoenix 6X Sapphire. Obviously the 6X Sapphire has got the Sapphire glass, it's a lot stronger, it can hold up to a lot, it's a lot more resilient. So um, if I was going on like a a weekend mountain climb or something like that, the 6X Sapphire would probably be my go-to. However, if it's for a long period of time or everyday use, this little guy over here, the Enduro, it's a winner, guys. I'm getting 50, 60 days battery life with all notifications activated. No problems at all. It's a really, really cool watch. But let's get down onto the bench and take a look at it, and you guys can draw your own conclusions on it. Hey YouTube, so yeah we're taking a look at a, another one of the Garmin's. So this is another Garmin which I make use of. Um, this being the Garmin Enduro, which is a solo ultra performance GPS multi sports watch. So how does this differ from your Garmin Fenix and all the others? Well, it's quite simple. So I currently have two smartwatches. I have done the brief review of the Garmin Fenix 6X Sapphire, which is sort of like their flagship. I prefer wearing this one in the week, purely because it's black, it suits the outfits a bit better. This one is gray and silver with a bit of like a yellowy green color. It doesn't always go with a smart sort of uh, dress code, whereas the black one, the Fenix 6X does. But this review is not about the 6X. This review is purely for the Garmin uh, Endura Solar. So I am not, this isn't an unboxing video because I have been wearing this and using it. So I'm going to be talking from experience on this specific smartwatch. So let's get onto the actual bench and have a close look at the smartwatch and see what it's all about. Um, the reason why I fit this in as a nice sort of weekend watch is it has a much more comfortable strap which you'll see it also has some very nice uh sort of function sets so this watch sits right up there like the phoenix range in my opinion it's uh, a premium sports uh sports watch with all the fancies and all the interesting things all included within one device so let's get in a little bit closer and take a look at this watch so guys, as you can see here, we've got a bit of a close-up of the watch. This is the standard sort of watch face um, that this one includes. We can get in a little bit close-up. But what I want to show you is this strap. So you've got sort of this Velcro strap, which is Velcro on both sides. So the sizing isn't a problem. It is somewhat elasticated. But most importantly, it is extremely comfortable to wear. Extremely comfortable. You can see the stainless steel back, the charge port here. This watch is exactly the same size as a Fenix 6X or 7X. It's, it's, it's a big watch. I mean, I'll give it that. But um, where this thing is really outstanding is the battery life. 
I've been wearing it for about two weeks now. And if you have a look there, I still have 45 days of battery. Here at the bottom on the default one, you can see the battery charge state. At currently, it's not getting any solar because there's no sun today. It's a very overcast day. And I'm also recording indoors, so that kind of helps as well. Um, uh, it's not on my arm, so you don't see the heart rate. You can see your battery life. You can adjust all of these things. I mean, this is all customizable. So just like any Garmin, you've got your navigations, your sports modes, uh, all sorts of cool stuff that you can do with it. I'm not here to do a tutorial on how all of that works. I'm here purely just to show you guys an initial sort of look at this watch. There you can see your solar intensity over time. Your weather, these are widgets by the way. So these widgets you can go into and you can pull different periods of time, etc. Um, as an example, you go to your weather, you can go in, you can see daily trends, etc. Uh, you can also go to your sunrise, sunset, so you can see how much, what time sunrise, what time sunset. You can go into that and you can do it for pretty much any date in the past or future uh, to see what your sunrise and sunset is going to be. Um, and you've got all these other cool things for training performance, um, step counters, pretty much your stats, pulse oximeter. This is linked to my calendar because it is linked to my smartwatch, notifications, everything. You do get them. These are not touchscreen watches. So a lot of people ask me the question, um, they, or they come up to my watch and they try and like touch it to make a, a gesture or open something and it does absolutely nothing and I like that I don't like touchscreen watches because your glass ends up getting full of fingerprints and whatnot so I've never really been a fan of that and to be honest everything is functionable from the face of this watch um, from the the buttons so you've got three buttons this side and you've got two on that side that being the enter or forward button or sports activation this being the back button this being the down and up in the menus this being the light but it also, if you push and hold, it does have like sort of a second function for this rotary menu system over here. Again, there's a lot of push and hold sort of functionality so you can change watch faces, uh, get into your settings, deep dive, make some serious adjustments to everything um, and your more advanced settings, of course. Now, I'm using the default watch face just because it's designed for this watch. It's going to give you a good battery run time um, and a whole bunch of other niceness. Now, let me quickly grab the 6X Sapphire and put it right next to this one so we can see the actual size comparison on these two. Just got to get it out. Cool. So we've got it here. It is currently turned off because um, I'm not wearing it at the moment. But as you can see, they are exactly the same size for all intents and purposes. They, there's no real difference in the sizing. So accessories for the one generally work for the other and vice versa. This one being a sapphire, I don't put a screen protector on. This one being a Gorilla Glass, I do have a screen protector on just to make sure that I don't damage it so yeah these are really fantastic watches guys um, a lot of people head into the Samsung Huawei for me personally the battery life is the winner on these I mean on this one I'm getting 25 days and on this one I'm getting 50 odd days of battery life with notifications with everything happening in the background it is really really cool watches to use I don't like the touch screens. I like that these are always on, meaning just a little bit of light and you can read your display. Like right now, that this one is actually being lit from the LED video light that's sitting on the side. Um, it's not using its backlight. So yeah, it's they're just very, very practical watches, guys. Um, I really enjoy using them. And uh, this one's already been on a Berg hike with me. It captured everything flawlessly back to the app. Um, I think it's a good idea that we actually have a look at the application and some of the back end data that you can capture from your watches. So you could just see 
what is available on your phone um, after the fact. So let's check that out and then I'll just chat about my conclusion. Okay, everybody, so here we have the website for Garmin Open. Um, I know it's not technically the South African website, but at least we get an idea of um, what we're looking at over here. So here you can see the Enduro uh, steel with gray ultra fit nylon strap. So they call that the ultra fit nylon strap. They have a few images here showing you the solar intensity and the various um, interesting things. Uh, battery modes, whatever the case may be, which you can go through and you can learn uh, on the watch itself. Um, I wasn't going to go and do a review of each and every function of the watch. Um, I just wanted to talk about my general consensus on this watch. Um, the Enduro he has a video. I wonder what they have to show. Lightweight ultra performance watch. Interesting. Uh, you get your typical runner going around. Probably copyrighted contents, but um, nonetheless, you can see what they talk. Two months in smartwatch mode, battery life, as I mentioned. Um, it's just a really cool um, watch. I don't think we need to go through that video any longer. So you're welcome to go watch it. I'll share the link to this in. Um, in the comments so here you've got the go the distance featuring a power glass solar charging lens that extends battery life and packed with top performance features the enduro gps watch is built for extreme endurance athletes like you so this thing has the solar charge screen as i mentioned um, it has a fantastic battery life up to 80 hours of life in gps mode 300 hours in max, max battery mode um, stay in top form it's got the vo2 max settings it's extremely light guys something i need to talk about is actually how light this watch is it's ridiculously light to where you can barely wear it, it feels feels half the weight of the the phoenix despite it being the same size as the x 6x uh sapphire um it is endure it very durable i believe so it can and take a bit of a hit uh, however with it having a gorilla grass screen instead of a sapphire screen i opted to put a screen protector on just to protect it from everyday scratches and that is kind of my everyday beta watch um you can enable disable sensors you got full gps tracking maps etc everything that you would have on the phoenix is available to you on this watch um so yeah, you've got your solar charge battery, all your usual sort of bits and bobs. You're welcome to, like I say, go and check out this website. You've got your navigation sensors, your GPS, all the usuals. Um, you can do your fitness tracking. Uh, pretty much uh, it supports the Garmin Pay contactless payments. Uh, so you can do that if you want to just tap with your watch for payments. Um, there's a lot, guys. I mean, I, I suggest if you are really interested in one of these, go ahead and do some homework on them and you'll see all the functionality that actually is available. So lens materials, power glass, bezel, stainless steel, diamond-like carbon coated titanium. It is a fiber reinforced polymer case with a metal rear stainless steel. 26 more watch bands. There's a lot more details over here, but I'm not going to go into it. This watch is exactly the same size and resolution as the Phoenix 6X Sapphire. Um, it's also the MIP, uh, which is memory and pixel display. It is about half the weight of the Phoenix, with the titanium being a little bit lighter, 10 grams lighter, 100 meters water resistant. Uh, here's where the interesting stuff comes in. So smartwatch, you can see 50 days or 65 days with solar, battery save mode up to 130 days, or one year with solar, guys. One year with solar charging. I mean, wow. GPS up to 70, 80 hours with solar. Max battery mode, 200 hours or 300 hours with solar. Expedition GPS activity up to 65 days or 95 days with solar. So, hence the Enduro. This thing is designed to endure long uh, runs between charges. Um so yeah, that's based on the solar charging, assuming 50,000 lux conditions, three hours per day outside. 
So yeah, that's just a bit of a assumption it makes. It does have less memory than the 6X Sapphire. But besides that, you've got all the usual sort of functionality um, that you'd expect from a top end tracker. In the box, you get your watch, you get your um, your charge cable, your manuals, etc. So you get your charging cable, documentation, and your Enduro. That's pretty much it as it comes. You can, of course, get all the different accessories for it um, and all the sort of compatible devices, etc. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from the spec online. Um, a really cool watch, definitely worth uh, spending the local South African 10 to 12,000 Rand as you can expect on the older Enduro model. I do believe that they have the Enduro 2 available now. Um, I stand to correction, but we're going to have a look. So yes, they do. A uh, slightly different look, um, but a similar sort of designed watch. I mean, there's not much more you can squeeze into these devices. And of course, yeah, you're going to be looking at around 20,000 Rand for the new version. So save some money, get the older version. You'll be extremely happy with it. Um, these watches are absolutely phenomenal hey guys so there's the basic review of the uh garmin fenix enduro now i do know that garmin has bought out an enduro model 2 which is a newer watch with a lot more function sets however the enduro is still a very very good watch it still has pretty much all the functionality that you'd expect from a garmin probably more than what you'd expect from any smartwatch to be honest but it has that winning battery life, that 50, 60 days battery life with smart notifications and basic functionality uh, being used on a daily basis. Uh, obviously, if you start enabling things like pulse oximeters and, and, and all the other extra sensors, I, I keep the heart rate sensor on on this and it's giving me a solid uh, sort of two months battery life. Um, however, if you start bringing, putting on the pulse oximetry, GPS, etc., it is going to reduce. Just remember, this also does have a solar charge screen on it. So with it being not sapphire crystal, I've gone and put a uh, aftermarket screen protector on, um, on the Gorilla Glass screen just to protect it. And um, I really enjoy this watch. I mean, it, it does everything that you'd expect a smartwatch to do and possibly a lot more. Um, so yeah, just my opinion, guys. I really love it. Um, I do know that Cape Union Mart currently has quite a few specials on on these uh, where you can pick them up. The older generations such as the 6X series and uh, these Garmin Enduros because of the Enduro 2 and the 7 and the 8s coming out. You can pick these up at a really good price. And to be honest with you, like the Fenix 6X Sapphire, the 7X Sapphire, I, there's not much extra. Yes, it does has a, have a few extra functions, etc. But probably nothing I'm ever going to use. So it makes no sense to step up and spend that sort of money. The 6X Sapphire was ridiculous price just a couple months back. So now you can pick it up at a really good rate, probably around 10, 10K, 8K, 9K, somewhere there. Um, South African rands. And then these over here also probably around between 10 and 12,000 South African rands which is a lot cheaper than what they costed when they were still new models. So if you want to go to Enduro 2, you're going to spend quite a bit of money on it. Um, if you're going with the Enduro original, you're getting a lot of great function sets and you're getting it at a really good price. Uh, and the same applies to the Phoenix series. You can get the 7X Sapphire or the 6X Sapphire for less than the 6X. So, I mean, for less than the 7X or the 7 even for that matter. So I would go for the one generation back, get all that great functionality and pay a very small fee for it. I think it's, it's a win-win, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much just my impressions of it. It's up to you what you guys want to spend, but um, Garmin make fantastic smartwatches, definitely worth the money. Um, I'm keen to get this guy out on a hike with me and see how this one performs in comparison to that 6X Sapphire, which I have tested on a hike. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, please take note that uh, there's two channels currently in operation. There's the Knife and Tool Nerd channel, which is Knife Tool EDC. So this will be posted on this channel. It'll also be posted on my, um, my other channel being the Tech Nerd because it's also kind of a tech toy. So it, it doesn't fall under strictly just an EDC item. So I will post it on both. 
wherever you guys get to see it you're welcome to check out my other channels i'll post links to both on this video uh below so that you guys can follow both the channels if you like and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys have a great week ahead it is sunday afternoon so it's going to be a busy week for me at work um i wish you guys all the best of luck for the week and cheers for now